Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Happy Monday and also uh, happy Thanksgiving week. Um, I hope you all have good things planned for Thursday. Um, but anyway, so today uh, I want to do like real quick the um, kettlebell deadlift. So as anyone who's following me knows that I am making my way through um, the simple and sinister kettlebell uh, training uh, program book. Just, you know, going by the book. I'm not actually like in the training program. But, um, and, and I'm not a trainer of this program. I'm just learning it uh, on my own. So last time I talked about preparing for the deadlift, getting that hip hinge movement down, getting the shoulders where they need to be. Um, and this is basically uh, putting that to use. So um, the heaviest kettlebell I have at the moment is a 35 pounder, which is like basically nothing for me to lift up, but it's the heaviest I have, so that's what I'm using. Um, so the kettlebell deadlift is a little bit different than like your, um, your barbell deadlift in that your feet are going to be a little bit different, but otherwise it's the same thing. So like in a, in your regular, um, in your barbell deadlift, your feet are going to be paint, you know, a little bit closer, um, pointing a little bit more forward in the kettlebell one, you're going to be, you know, your feet are going to be a little bit farther apart, a little bit wider than hip width, toes pointing a little bit out because your kettlebell is going to be in between, in between your feet, in between your heels specifically. So you're going to stand up straight, shoulders back, hinge at the hips. Those knees are going to bend naturally, bend automatically. So you just kind of let them do that, but you're not, you're not squatting down to get the bell. You're hinging at the hips to get it. And then to bring it up, you're squeezing those glutes and the knees and the hips straight and kind of at the same time. You don't want your, um, you don't really want the knees to straighten before the hips do. You want them to, to, to straighten together. Um, so show that again, you're gonna hinge at the hips, start straight, knees straight, hinge at the hips, grab the bell, and squeeze with the glutes to come back up. And, um, and it's okay that my kettlebell is really light because I'm really just working on form at this point anyway. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not worried about how much I can lift. I'm just worried about, I'm just thinking about what my form looks like. So I have a kettlebell between my heels. I am standing up straight and tall, hinging at the hips till I go down, keeping my back nice and straight, shoulders back and together, making it snappy at the top, just straight up and back down. And you also, you want to be looking forward the whole time. You don't want to be looking down. You don't want to be like craning your neck like straight, but you kind of be, want to be looking forward the whole time. So there is your kettlebell deadlift. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please share it. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. And um, you can also find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. And uh, I have a new website. It is Westfold H and F. Uh, dot ISSA certified trainer dot com. So please go there, check out my options for training, and I will see you all on Wednesday for another video. Have a great one. Bye.